In a perfect world, all anyone would need for pop stardom would be genuine talent and hard work. But instead, we expect celebrities to look perfect, leading many stars to undergo dramatic transformations in an effort to become the total package. These stars all appear to have gone under the knife, but some have yet to admit it. Still, the proof is in the pudding, or the implants, new nose, or freshly plumped cheeks. Iggy Azalea's Nose and Beyond a 5'10 blonde bombshell with a gorgeous face, Iggy Azalea was rocking a hot bod even before she got any work done. This is a picture of me getting fromage on my face. But unlike other stars, the Aussie rapper was open about her procedures, revealing on The Ellen DeGeneres Show, I think it's a personal choice. I changed my nose and I got boobs. Azalea's surgeon detailed her procedures to People, revealing that she was able to perform at the AMAs just four days after her flash recovery breast augmentation. And I liked having a handful of boobs, and other times you wish that you, you know, had, like, a little bit more to work with. But many speculate that she also got plastic surgery to create her famous booty, which The Sun noted has grown significantly more bootylicious over the years. But Azalea denies having any work done on her backside. Janet Jackson's Nose she admits to having had a nose job when she was a teen, but Janet Jackson's pretty cagey about other procedures she may have had. If I've been fortunate enough to impact others, it's only because I myself have been greatly impacted by positive people. She told Extra, When I was 16, I changed my nose. Would I do it again? I don't know. I've seen a lot of women that have been pulled and snatched, and it's not too cute. But experts believe Jackson may have gone under the knife more than she's willing to confess. Plastic surgeon Dr. Matthew Schulman hasn't treated Jackson, but told Page Six in 2017 that Jackson's nose is in bad shape after too many tweaks, saying, It appears that there is some nasal collapse. This may be the result of multiple previous surgical procedures. Ashley Tisdale's Deviated Septum She rose to fame as Sharpay in the High School Musical movies, and after the success of High School Musical 2 in 2007, Ashley Tisdale went under the knife. As much as I love Gabriella, I'm just too big of a Sharpay fan. I just think there's like so much fun in playing the villain. She was upfront about her nose job, telling people, Growing up, I always knew I had a deviated septum on the right side of my nose, which caused trouble breathing. The Disney star insisted she didn't want her young fans to get the wrong idea about self-esteem and body image from knowing she had surgery. She told the mag, I did this to help my health. I just want to be honest because my fans are everything to me. We all strive to be perfect, and I think with Instagram and Pinterest, you see all these beautiful pictures all the time, and you can strive to be that at all times, but it's just not really realistic. After her nose job, it was speculated Tisdale had a second rhinoplasty procedure, which she strongly denied. Kelly Rowland's Implants Former Destiny's Child member Kelly Rowland says her implants made her much more confident in her body, telling Shape, I wanted to get breast implants when I was 18, but my mom and Beyonce's mom told me to really think about it first. I took their advice and waited 10 years. Rowland finally got her implants in 2008 and was thrilled with how the surgery turned out, telling people, I simply went from an A cup to a B cup. I didn't want to have double Ds and be a little bitty size too. That would look nuts. I feel overwhelmingly blessed, you know what I mean? Like, to the point to where you just wake up every day with so much gratitude. Gwen Stefani's Possible Procedures she looks amazing for a woman who's almost 50, but experts speculate Gwen Stefani had some help maintaining her stunning looks. I was really anti-fashion and really anti-mall. like mall. I, mean, I grew up in Orange County. Plastic surgeon Dr. Michael Salzauer told Radar Online, Gwen appears to have done Botox, but she's also had her already luscious lips plumped up to perfection. Aside from that, she's just most likely had a series of chemical peels. However, another cosmetic specialist thinks Stefani went even further, telling the site, It looks like Gwen has also undergone ultra therapy, which is a non-surgical facelift and neck lift. Whatever she has or hasn't had done, we're pretty sure she's got the bankroll to back it up. It's so powerful when you find music that, you know, really speaks to you and helps you discover and uncover who you are. Tay-Tay's new bootay? Though she's denied it, it's been speculated that Taylor Swift has had both breast and butt implants, giving her a much fuller figure than she had when she first broke into the mainstream. Dr. Schulman told Page Six of The Singer, Recent photos seem to show a fuller chest and more cleavage. I suspect that she has had a surgical breast augmentation, taking her from a small A cup to a B cup. After Swift showed off a fuller derriere in spring 2016, experts speculated whether she had silicone butt implants, a Brazilian butt lift, or simply wore padded underwear, according to Radar Online. I look good in a pant. Okay. I mean, I'm not saying I look good. I'm saying it's, it's decent. 
Adele's new nose? When she first emerged in the music world, Adele was much less polished than she is today, and experts believe that in addition to losing some weight and getting a great stylist, Adele may have also gone under the knife for a nose job. I, I like to be a, try and be a little bit, not give everything away all the time yeah. so that I can surprise people with things sometimes. Beverly Hills plastic surgeon Dr. Renato Calabria told Hollywood Life, the tip of Adele's nose is definitely more defined, which would suggest that she had a tip rhinoplasty. For her part, Adele has expressed being averse to plastic surgery in general, especially in regards to fighting the aging process. She told Time in 2015, I don't want to have plastic surgery. I'm going to look like this forever. Deal with it. Once you deal with it, you feel more calm about it. 